Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. And I welcome you this morning to our celebration. We offer our Mass and we join our prayers this morning for Barbara Nederost. And we begin this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the unity of His Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together this morning as God's family, with confidence, we ask our Lord's forgiveness, for our God is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of our Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the paschal mystery of your only begotten Son, graciously grant that we, who confidently proclaim under sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ, may experience continued increase of your saving grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the book of Revelation, I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Sardis, write this, the one who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this, I know your works, that you have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen what is left, which is going to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then how you accept it and heard, keep it and repent. If you are not watchful, I will come like a thief, and you will never know at what hour I will come upon you. However, you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments. They will walk with, with me dressed in white because they are worthy. The victor would thus be dressed in white, and I will never erase his name from the book of life. Will, will acknowledge his name in the presence of my Father and his angels. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in the dosia, write this, the, the Amen, the faithful, and the true witness, the source of God's creation says this, I know your works, I know that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either cold or hot. So. Because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you, you, for you say, I am rich and affluent and have no need of anything. Yet do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire, so that you may be rich, and white garments to put on, so that your shameful nakedness may not be exposed and buy ointment to smear on your eyes, so that you may see. Those whom I love, I reprove and chastise. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him, and he, will, and he with me. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on the throne, as I myself first won the victory and sit with my Father on his throne. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne, 
I will see the victor beside me on my throne. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. I will see the victor beside me on my throne. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the re reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. I will seek the victor beside me on my throne. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall not be disturbed. I will seek the victor beside me on my throne. Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is the descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I was reflecting on today's Gospel, I was thinking to myself, I could relate to how Zacchaeus felt. Being vertically challenged, so often I find myself getting clothes that would fit me, having to go to the tailor to get pants shortened, or sitting in a movie and saying, this person is too tall in front of me, I can't see the screen. Zacchaeus really wanted to see Jesus. But more than see who Christ was, he wanted to experience him. Experience the love, the compassion, the forgiveness, the understanding. I feel for each of us, it is one thing for us to see Christ, to 
see Christ in the Eucharist, to see Christ in the scriptures. But we need to see more with our, not with our eyes, but see more with our heart, and to allow the teaching and preaching of Christ to affect our lives and our world. God bless. Trusting in his mercy, we placed our petitions before our loving God. For the Church throughout the world, may God bestow unity among her peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all in positions of power, may God move their hearts to care for the most vulnerable, especially the elderly and the unborn, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are ill and struggling with their pain, may God's grace bring them comfort and relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For all gathered in this holy place, may the joy of the gospel be a source of light and life in our daily endeavors, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the souls of the faithful departed, may the angels welcome them to paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. <clears throat> and we pray for our own special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing the prayers of your children and give you praise for answering every need through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual thing. Blessed be God forever. Please bear with me, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. <laughs> Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his Apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by the one world, may be enlightened by one faith, and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foretold. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of, of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, 
and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At our Savior's command, and formed by <coughs> divine teaching, we dare to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. spirit. Please share with those around you a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus who comes to take away the sins of our world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May sharing at the heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, we pray, so that through the body and blood of Christ, the whole family of believers may be bound together through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Amen. Say, my holy archangel, in the presence of God, be our protection against the wickedness, the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. 